cocktail man right. in my bedroom. In another life, I was a bartender, but not on the level that you were. I've also got a ginger simple. Well, we're gonna use that no matter what, pull it out. All right. Lemon and ginger, done, skis. Is it juiced or is it in the hole? It's a still whole lemon. Juice an entire lemon and see what you have. Do you have a mesh strainer at all? Cool, put the juice through the mesh strainer so that you require all seeds and pulp to stay outside of the juice. Ginger, bourbon, and lemon will always be together. After you do that, do you have any cinnamon? Yes. Do you have any bitters? Orange bitters, Angostura bitters? No. Do you have any oranges? Maybe. Yo, make sure you put a glass in your freezer right now, a small glass. Okay. You have simple syrup, rebosado. Do you have salt, cinnamon? Yeah. All right, so I got an orange, salt, and a cinnamon. Uh, I've got lime. Let's juice that lime. Let's put it through a mesh strainer. Let's get a level of measurement. Nick, do you have a juicer, a squeezer? I don't know. All right, let's fucking get down, man. Crush your fingernails. Yeah. So pour the lime juice into the uh, vessel that you're not going to shake the cocktail with. And that's already been through the mesh strainer, correct? Yeah. Let's pour it out into the jigger slowly so we know how much we're dealing with. I've got about uh, one and a half ounces, closer to two ounces. That's a really lustrous lime. Great. So put that all back into the black cocktail tin. Nick, one and a half ounces of Red Bull. You have a quarter ounce of lime. And let's do a quarter ounce of the honey shrub. The ginger shrub. I meant ginger shrub, sir. Okay. Do you have ice? I do. So right now you have tequila, you have your shrub, you have the citrus. Take a pinch of salt. Make sure you break it up in your hand like this. You pour it here and then you break it up. This finger, this thumb, crush it up. Because the point is to help dilute it. You don't want the drink to taste salty. You want to use the salt to boost the citrus. Now let's take your glass out. Let's put a cube in it. Let's also fill your cocktail tin with ice. Oh, first of all, let's take a peel of that orange. So put that put that peel down. And you see the left and the right side of that peel? Yeah. Give it a haircut. Oh, yeah. But make it nice and clean. All right, so see the side where your fingers are holding it? Yeah. We're gonna clean that up the same way. Okay. Left and the right side of that peel. Looks good. Do you have ice in your cocktail tin? Yes, I do. Didn't know that. Let's start shaking it now. That's gonna minimize the time you shake it. We're gonna go six seconds. One one thousand. Six one thousand. Yeah. That's good. Now strain it. Into the glass? No, on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Into the glass, that's good. All the way over, brother, don't be afraid. It has to pour. There you go. Now we talking, Mike. Now we talking big times. All right. Now, see that cinnamon thing you have behind that bottle? Yeah. All right, with your hands, you're gonna take a really small pinch and you're gonna put it over the surface of the glass. Not a lot. Yeah, and always in your palm. So I'm, I'm doing this over, over what surface? Over the surface of your cocktail you just poured, sir. Okay. Take your orange peel, <laughs> twist the oils. Yeah, you got it. Cool. So now in your glass, you have your, uh, or ginger syrup rather. Yep. Your reposado, your salt, your cinnamon, your lime, is that correct? Yes. And an orange twist. Yes. Cheers, guys. So many subtle flavors in this. Delicious. <laughs>